I haven't felt like myself. I haven't been able to make videos. I haven't been able to get behind the camera. Um, and not all times are amazing. So it's not what it used to be. I, we don't really get to see each other as much anymore. It's not a sad thing. I know I'm crying, but it's not a sad thing. It's just a new thing. Smoking cigarettes on bucket knees. What the Brock is up guys? If you guys are new here, my name is Alex. This is Alex Bruckner Vlogs. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, click that notification bell, and you guys can even follow me on Instagram. Um, now, today's video is something that I've been kind of avoiding for a while now. I haven't posted in like a month, which is actually kind of normal for me. Um, I was trying to get on a better schedule of posting until um, something happened recently that has just been, um, kind of, just, it's been a lot, um, for me to handle. Being always open and, um, telling other people that are not necessarily a part of your life, you know, um, I tell you guys everything, you know. Um, I didn't have to, you know, post my coming out video onto YouTube, I didn't have to do things like that, which, you know, I lost subscribers from, I had people in my DMs, there was tons and tons of support, which is amazing, but, you know, any, anytime you put yourself out there, you're putting yourself out there for the good and the bad, um, and not all times are amazing, so, basically, um, what I was getting with that is I just, I like to be open with you guys. I like to tell you guys every aspect of my life and so that nothing, so that nothing is um, like a secret, nothing is really hidden. Basically I'm just trying to like go around the actual topic that I'm trying to make this video for. Um, something came up that was very sudden and it has really put a lot into our relationship that um, we weren't really ready for. Challenging for both of us. So let me just give you guys a little background. Um, I'm currently in school. Um, I'm full time. I have one year left and I cannot wait to finish. Um, my boyfriend is graduated. So, uh, basically what that meant is um, he was looking for a job and he found one and it was so exciting and it's amazing and I'm so proud of him. Like it's so exciting that he has this new adventure in his life, um, but this new adventure caused him to have to leave. I just wanted to say I'm editing this video and I just want to say clearly um, I was in my feels because the, there's a lot of crying in there. Um, but basically what I want to say is today is uh, January 25th, which mean, or 24th, which means tomorrow, January 25th, is me and John's six month anniversary. So basically I'm adding this clip in here to say, babe, I love you so much. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you getting your job. You're doing amazing at it and I could not be more just overwhelmed with joy. I know that distance sucks and it's super hard. It's still something that we're getting used to. Uh, but there's so many positives coming this year. There's so many great opportunities and amazing things coming for us. So this is not, you know, I don't want this whole video to be so sad. I'm like, I gotta add something else to this video. So here is a special message to you, Jonathan. Um, you are amazing. I'm so proud to, to know you and to have you in my life. And I just want to say, like, I'm sorry about the sad video. Happy anniversary. I love you so much. We've made it six months together and distance is not going to stop that. Oh, I just took a second um, to get myself together. Um, basically what I want to say, though, is um, for those who are thinking it, we didn't break up. Um, basically what happened is um, he moved away, um, which is why I called this video, like, he's leaving me. We didn't break up, but um, uh, he is like five hours away. 
and with me in school and him at his new job, I we don't really get to see each other as much anymore. Um, so it really has been kind of hard. This it's like a new normal. It's kind of like you know, um, just like everything is very. It's not what it used to be. Like I mean, we've always been kind of long distance. I mean, his college was an hour away from my college. So we've always kind of had to travel to see each other, but this is just the longest, um, the longest distance so far, and just it's not the same being able to see someone every night on FaceTime, but not, you know, get to be with them, and like you're not just, you know, getting to create those new memories. And so um, basically that's um, been my life. Um, and why I haven't been posting on here much and um, we're all just trying to get used to a new normal and it's not a sad thing I know I'm crying but it's not a sad thing because we're still together everything is okay um, it's just a new thing that we're gonna have to figure out and that's that's all it is I promise we do FaceTime every single night before bed it's just I haven't I haven't felt like myself. I haven't been able to make videos. I haven't been able to get behind the camera. It's just, it's just different. So, and I've been so busy with school. So, um, I will get back to it hopefully soon. Um, I will be seeing him pretty soon. I think this weekend or next. And hopefully we'll make a super fun video um, for you guys. So all of my content is not me crying in front of a camera. If you guys have any suggestions though, for real, if you guys are in long distance relationships, tell me what works for you. Um, what things do you guys do to kind of make it work? This is not something we were used to, so it's just, it's obviously different. So again, any, suggestion, any suggestions or help down below would be amazing. Um, you guys have been here throughout my whole journey. 2020 has been a wild ride, let's just go there. We'll see what this year has to bring. It's going to be very interesting. Hopefully by the end of it, you guys will find me graduating college um, sometime during this year. Josh and Katie will be married, and sometime during this year, hopefully me and John can figure out this new normal and go from there. So I just wanted to update you guys on my life because I want you guys to be a part of it as much as possible. Sorry for the sad video, guys. Always remember... What the frick? Who's the one person that you met in 2020 and now y'all are basically best friends?